Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the substitute function and then nest multiple substitute functions to convert some oddly formatted phone numbers into a nice neatly formatted list of numbers that is structured in a proper neat format like you might want them to be. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have this list of phone numbers here. And you can see some say home, business, mobile, etc. And they have periods, they have parentheses, dashes, spaces, double spaces, all kinds of different characters in there. And we ultimately want to convert them to numbers in that format and then put them into a format that will look like this which Excel actually has as one of its standard options in formatting. So again, you can see all the different types of characters and such that we have to strip out of this, and including the names, etc., to get to our final format. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to insert some rows here, and I'm going to take this data, and I'm going to copy it down. And the first thing we want to do is strip off home, business, mobile, etc. So we're going to use the write function to do that. So I'm going to say equals write tab. What's my text is that? And what's the number of characters that I want? Well, it's going to be the length of this cell minus the find function. And we're going to find what text? We're going to find a space comma, within what text is going to be this text here. We'll close that. That's the find function. Close that. Hit enter. And you can see I've now stripped off home because we've taken all the characters to the right and then subtracted from that all the first part up to and including the space. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to add the trim function to that. And what does the trim function do? It removes all spaces from a text string except for a single space between words. So I'll hit tab there, go to the end, put the end parentheses in, hit that, and copy that down. And now I have, whoops, one more, I have just the numbers without the leading text there. Okay? Now, by using the trim function and noticing how it will remove any spaces in front of, behind of, and only leave one space in between any quote unquote words, that also took out any double spaces that we had down in the last row here. Notice the double spaces between 101 and 555 and 1212 have now been converted down to single spaces. So that's one of the things that the trim function does. Now it's just a matter of going through and substituting the periods, spaces, left parentheses, right parentheses, and dashes for just blanks or nothing at all. So I'm just going to click up into the, my formula right behind the equal sign, type sub, which brings up substitute, hit tab, go to the end, comma, what's the old text? Well, I'm going to hit double quote, space, double quote, and what do I want to replace that with? Just double quotes. Close my parentheses, control enter, that took care of any spaces. Now I'll click behind my equal sign again, type substitute, tab, go to end, comma, and now what do I want to look for? I'm going to put double quotes, period, double quotes, comma, and what do I want to replace that with? I'll just put double quotes, close my parentheses, again, control enter. Now that's taken care of the periods. Again, click behind my equal sign, type sub, tab, end, comma. Now I'm going to put quote, left paren, quote, comma, double quotes is what I want to turn it into. Close that, control enter. That's taken care of the left parentheses. Again, click behind my equal sign, sub, tab, go to end, comma, quote, right paren, quote, comma, double quotes, close my parentheses, 
control enter and then lastly sub tab and comma quote dash quote comma double quote is what I want to replace that with close my parentheses control enter and now when I copy that down I have removed all the different characters that I saw that are within my original data. So I've taken out spaces, double spaces, periods, left parentheses, right parentheses, dashes, and then also using the trim function in the extraneous spaces before and after those numbers. Now the next thing I want to do is just convert them into the number format. And one way to do that is you can either put double uh, minus signs be in front of your formula or at the end just multiply it times one I'll hit control enter now you can see they've all gone to right justified which means they are formatted as numbers last step I'm just gonna click in column C type equals select that control enter copy it down and I just want to do it in a separate cell or I could could have done it in this one but just to show the difference I'm going to hit Control-1 to bring up the Format Cells dialog box. Go down to Special, and one of the specials is Phone Number. I can select that. You can see a sample of how that's going to look. I'll click OK. And now all the phone numbers that started out with all kinds of various characters with leading text in front have all been reformatted in a nice, clean-looking phone number type style that I can use for whatever function I want. And that's how you can do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy Excelling.